Let's say you're planning a trip to Denver, Colorado to see the Colorado Rockies play at Coors Field. You type Coors Field into the Maps app and you get this. 2001 Blake Street, Denver, Colorado 80205. You can do the same for 3601 South Broad Street in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania 19148, which is the Wells Fargo Center where the Philadelphia Flyers play, or even 1 AMB Drive, Northwest Atlanta, Georgia 30313, which is the Mercedes Benz Stadium where the Atlanta Hawks and Atlanta United play. While most of these addresses are easily understood at a glance, the number on the building, the street the building's on, city and state the building is in, you may notice this cryptic zip code lingering at the end of each address. So what is this zip code? Why is it part of the address and what does it mean? Well, back in the middle of the 1900s, people were really into mailing each other things. Hey, the internet hadn't been invented yet. As the country continued to grow, the United States Post Office Department recognized that the increasing volume of mail was becoming increasingly more difficult to sort. They needed a better and more accurate way to sort mail based on its destination, one that could even be sorted by machines. In 1963, the Post Office introduced something called a ZIP Code, short for Zone Improvement Plan. The acronym helpfully gives the idea of your letters zipping along quickly to its destination. In the late 1960s, the campaign to adopt the zip code began in full force. They even created a cartoon character of a mail carrier named Mr. Zip to advertise the use of zip codes. Slowly, the zippy way to mail your letter was adopted, and today it is rare to find a piece of mail missing this crucial code. But how does the zip code work? Well, the first of the five numbers maps to a broad region of the United States. Zero is used as the first number in New England, Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, New Jersey, a single zone in New York on Long Island, some foreign U.S. military bases, and other destinations outside of the United States. The number one is used for the rest of the Northeast, like New York, Pennsylvania, and Delaware. 2 is used for DC, Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia, and both Carolinas. 3 is used for Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Tennessee, and Mississippi. 4 is used in Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana, and Michigan. 5 is used in Iowa, Wisconsin, Minnesota, South Dakota, North Dakota, Montana, and a single zone in DC for parcel returns. 6 is used in Illinois, Missouri, Kansas, and Nebraska. 7 is used in Louisiana, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. 8 is used for Colorado, Wyoming, Idaho, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada, and for P.O. Boxes in El Paso, Texas. And finally, 9 is used for California, Hawaii, Guam, Oregon, Washington, Alaska, and additional U.S. military bases outside of the United States. Whew, you might need a breather, but that's actually just the first number. The second and third number correspond to a subsection of the broader region. Let's take a look at how the next two numbers narrow it down by looking at one of our previous examples. Denver, Colorado and Coors Field at 2001 Blake Street. The zip code was 80205. With the number 8, we know that we are either in Colorado, Wyoming, Idaho, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, or Nevada. If we look at Colorado, you can see how Colorado is divided. Zip codes 800 through 816 are allocated for Colorado. We can then see that 802 covers the, quote, main section of Denver, as opposed to 800 for North Denver and 801 for South Denver. The final two numbers in the zip code correspond with the postal zone, specifically the zone that Coors Field is in, 05, 80205. Broadly Western, but not West Coast, Colorado, Denver, Postal Zone 5. But what if we could get even smaller, even more specific? Well, the post office thought that exact same thing, and in 1983, they extended the zip code by four more numbers. This is known as zip plus four. The plus four is not strictly necessary, but greatly increases the accuracy of your postage. If we look at the three examples from before, 
80205-2000. And here's the zip codes for the Wells Fargo Center and Mercedes-Benz Stadium as well. The original five number zip code followed by a hyphen and four additional numbers. Like the original zip code, the four numbers can be broken down. Let's take a look at Coors Field again. We know that Coors Field is located with the zip code 80205, but if we look at 2000, the first two numbers of the plus four are known as a delivery sector. This could be several blocks within a postal zone, or in very dense places, it could even be a single large building. The final two numbers of the plus four are the delivery segment. Within this sector, this could be a single side of a street or even the floor of a building. So once again, taking into consideration Coors Field's full nine number zip code, eight places our zip code's location in the broadly western states, zero two places us in Colorado, specifically in downtown Denver, zero five is the postal zone, 2-0 is the delivery sector Coors Field is located in, and 0-0 is the specific delivery segment for Coors Field. Anyway, now that you've got that correctly typed into your Maps app, you're on your way to the stadium. Zip codes have basically become irreplaceable in the way that the modern world handles mail. Zip codes are incredibly handy for unambiguously specifying an exact location your letter or parcel should be delivered. And this is the reason why nearly every country in the world has adopted their own unique kind of postal code that is added to the address in their specific country. So the next time that you're looking to send your favorite athlete some fan mail, you may want to include the zip plus four if you want the best chance for your letter to make it to its destination. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this small detour from the usually scheduled sports videos. Let me know what you thought about the video below. I will hopefully have some more educational videos coming out sometime this year, in addition, of course, to all of the sports videos. If you did enjoy it, like and subscribe, tell your friends, and maybe check out some of my other videos on the channel. Until next time, stay zippy, my friends.